Hi guys, Mary Grace here. Hope you're well. We finally made this modeling Q&A video after so many requests. For who doesn't know me, my name is Mary Grace. I am a model and digital entrepreneur and I've been modeling since the age of five in Milan. Right now I find myself in Mexico to work as an international model. So let's go through the questions. If you're short, how can you become a model? Love you. Love you too, Anne. So if you're short, um, the process of becoming a model is basically the same, but you will be considered a petite model, uh, which means that you will be pushed more for uh, commercials and beauty campaigns because they do not really care about height. To be a model, you have two options. You can be either be a freelance model or get signed with an agency. Getting signed with an agency, it's much easier and better in my opinion, because you don't have to worry about anything. You get a casting call, you show up there, do the work and that's it, and you get paid. How can someone be a successful model? So um, the question is, what is successful for you? What's the definition of success in life as a model? Um, it is have making a lot of money, is it uh, getting known, uh, walking lots of shows, um, just work for different brands or maybe travel the world. Um, the best advice I can give, like on a general level, um, I'll probably say work a lot on your personality because that's what will bring you around. Um, if you are nice, you will get called more, um, people will be more willing to work with you and yeah. So that's probably my best advice. Have you ever experienced burnout in your modeling career? Um, I'll probably say no, but generally yes. <laughs> like as working with social media and having my agency and all the rest, yes I did. Uh, which is one of the big reasons why I decided to come here in Mexico for work and just change environment uh, because I really felt overwhelmed but not uniquely from modeling so no and yes <laughs> how does payment looks like like every month after every photo shooting or that really depends uh, from your agency or if you're a freelancer normally it takes at least 30 days before you get paid but sometimes they pay you after a week sometimes 15 days and if it's a really big job normally you have to wait at least three months sucks but <laughs> it's like that is it really fake until you make it yes it is <laughs> jokes aside this is one of the industries where you if you are not confident you need to fake it um if you are not like booking jobs or whatever it's okay because today you decided to do your skincare <laughs> like whatever but yeah it is like that how to be confident um so speaking for myself i never cared about anybody's opinion unless like it's my family, but to a certain extent. Um, so, you know, you just need to leave. And this is an industry where you're confident or you don't make it. <laughs> but many, many friends of mine weren't confident before and they became confident uh, throughout time and attending uh, castings and doing shoots. So it takes time. Um, so if you're not confident, that's okay. Take your time. You need experience. Mm. Softly say cheese okay so um what was your favorite modeling job as a child um it was probably the job that i did for diesel um we had this like unicorn um i was like kind of flying in the sky like they built a whole set that was pretty cool and then i liked a lot um runways i used to go crazy for runways when i was a kid what are the career options that i can pursue along with this career and how to manage it such as giving acting auditions um, it's about how you manage your time. You need to be really selective on what you do. Um, but it's not impossible at all, actually the whole opposite. <laughs> um, as I said, I do modeling, acting, and I have my own social media agency and I work on social media on my own as a personal brand. Um, so I will say probably any career that gives you flexibility um, or that you can re work from remote or that is within the creative industry so music, arts, acting um, they all walk together what to do if you want to expand modeling in another country or continent but don't have family friends to live there 
Uh, that goes with agencies. Your modeling agencies will provide you with uh, a model apartment, so you will share the apartment with all the models and you will go to castings and jobs, which is technically what I am here for with the only exceptions that I didn't want to go into a model apartment and I decided to get my own Airbnb, but that's totally up to you. How to deal with unmotivation? Um, well, this is a hard one. The key is discipline and consistency because you will never be all the time motivated. Uh, but if you're disciplined, then you will be successful. How do you start modeling for beauty? Obviously, you want to get beauty shots. Get as, ma as many beauty shots as you can and search for great photographers ask if they want to collaborate uh, so you both can build your portfolio and then submit to commercial agencies. Can I get scouted if I'm not skinny? Yes, of course you can, 100%. Uh, modeling really promotes diversity nowadays because brands want that. Um, so there are petite models, curvy models, um, different ethnicities, uh, like you name it. Uh, so yeah, that is definitely not a problem, but to be a model you need Polaroids and portfolio. What agency you recommend to start with? Um, I'll probably say um, local agencies, even if they're smaller, which personally I believe it's the best because they push you more, start there. Is there any discrimination in the modeling industry? Have you experienced it? Yes. <laughs> yes, there is, a lot. Um, and it doesn't matter, it can be about your weight, it can be about your size, it can be about your height, it can be about anything. Um, maybe there is a lot of like disgusting people out there. Um, I was discriminated from a height. I got told I would have never been a model, so there was no need for me to even keep pursuing it. Which is funny because, you know, I call it karma a week later that um, I got called for London Fashion Week, so... But, yeah, uh, there is. And that's why you need a really tough skin and you need to be confident with yourself. So when you go home, you cannot just get there and cry and be like, you know what? Fuck it, I am good at it. I know that. I'm gonna make it. What do you eat for three meals? Um, truthfully speaking, I normally have like a big breakfast and then I have dinner around five, six, like a really big dinner. Sometimes I eat for lunch, sometimes I skip it, depends from how I feel. Um, my lifestyle in London is a bit different um, because I wake up at 5.30 in the morning and I'm really busy during the day. Um, so I either have a bite for something or I just skip it and then have a really big meal for dinner But it's totally up to you what and how you want to eat. Um, I do not have a diet <clears throat> I eat whatever I want obviously in like great amounts and Yeah, I try to keep myself healthy, but I have like a sweet tooth <laughs> So it is what it is what is your daily workout? Um, I normally go to the gym, uh, do lots of cardio, um, exercises for legs and abs, with weights, yeah, sometimes, but not always, and then I swim, and then I do steam room where I meditate. That's like my workout routine. What's the first step to become a model? How do you reach out to agencies? Um, you want to have digitals, which are Polaroids, like this. Um, you want to have your portfolio, it's not must, but it's good to have it and then you want to apply to websites of the agencies. Have you ever thought of giving up and if so, what kept you going? Um, yes, I have, <laughs> of course I have, uh, but not in modeling, probably more uh, regarding social media. Um, it can be tough, you know, there is a lot of pressure in the behind the scenes and now I feel like I'm obliged to um, post something and I need to be careful what I post because I have clients I work with even in modeling or in business or whatever that they watch what I do um, and before I had like more freedom of you know just posting whatever just for fun and what kept me going is probably the freedom that I have like if tomorrow I decide that I want to do a 9 to 5 and just stop this I can um, it's my choice so I remember, I remind myself that I'm doing it because I like it and not because I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your inspiration to be such an incredible model? Thank you. Uh, myself, <laughs> my younger self. I think when I was young, I was like really good, really, really good. And I loved the work that I did. 
uh, some shoots I didn't even remember and looking back I think there were some really cool photo shoots and I, people always told me that when I was on the catwalk I would probably change my personality like outside I would be super easygoing simple I didn't care and then when I was on stage I would turn into this like super professional little girl and yeah I think that's pretty cool so her she's my inspiration what is your dream brand that you want to model for mm, good question uh, Mugler is probably one of my favorite that I really want to model for Michael Kors straight after uh, obsessed with Michael Kors and Hugo Boss um, I think it reflects the values of the brand really reflect who I am uh, with my personal brand so I like it a lot <laughs> so that was all thank you guys for watching um, check out my other videos and let me know if you want a part two in the comments or if you have any other questions remember to follow me on Instagram so because I often do Q&A's on there so you can um, get an answer there quicker than the YouTube video uh, but yeah hope it was helpful bye